promised, I'm going to talk about the type of yoga or yoga. In previous few sections, we have discussed, described, I have described the meaning of Vihangam Yoga and what is the meaning of yoga. But today, let me elaborate a little bit more about Vihangam Yoga, how it is different from other types. So previously, we have come to know when we were defining yoga means it is the union of the soul with the Supreme Soul, the Almighty, and that's it. There is no any other element of ours, like body or mind or intellect or ego or anything, which has to be united with the Supreme Soul. It is not yoga. And similarly, union of mind, synchronization among mind, body, and soul is also not called yoga. Yoga means union of the soul with the Supreme Soul. And that's it. This is the purest definition for yoga and also described by Sadhguru Sadafal Devji Maharaj. Here, I'm trying to little bit elaborate more. What is Vihangam Yoga? So there are three types, actually. Let us say one is Hatha Yoga. We have heard about this term, Hatha Yoga. One is Raj Yoga, we have heard. And at the same time, we have heard a lot many different kinds of yoga, say Mantra Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Gyan Yoga. In fact, nowadays I'm hearing somebody I was telling here in Singapore in the office, do you know, so as there is a beer yoga as well. So people have been categorizing things on their own. But in terms of facts, what is Hatha Yoga? Hatha Yoga, it has a different uh, name also. It has a different philosophical understanding basis also. So one is called Pipil Marg. Pipil means ant. And Marg means it is the path. One is Kapil Marg, which is Kapil means monkey and Marg means path. And one is Vihanga Marg. Vihag means it's the bird and Marg means the path. So there are three um, animals or birds or, or insects have been picked up just to compare these three among themselves. One is ant, which is an insect. You can say one is the monkey, the animal, and one is bird. In a normal sense, if we try to differentiate these three among themselves, there is a very fine differentiation in terms of their way of flying, jumping, or walking, or, or running. So if you talk about ant, if it has to walk, if it has to run, if it has to go from one place to another, it has to use a base. And what is the base? Base it has to be attached to a base. Base, say, it may be ceiling, it can be the wall, it can be the floor, or it can be your shirt, pant, or anything. But it has to be attached. It cannot be without a base. That's how we know that's the ant. Similarly, when we go for the monkey, it also needs a base. Sometimes it's on the branch, sometimes on the floor, sometimes maybe on the wall also. But sometimes it is in the air also, without any base. It's on its own. That's how the capacity, capability of the monkey has. But the bird, once it leaves its base, it can fly for a long on its own basis. It doesn't need any solid basis for its own movement. It can fly on its own. So on this basis, the Hatha Yoga, Raja Yoga, and the Vihangam Yoga has been defined and categorized. Hatha Yoga. When we do Hatha Yoga, we need to have a basis. Basis is the body. Hatha Yoga means you are stretching your body. You are doing pranayama also. It comes under Hatha Yoga itself. Lots of difficult types of Hatha Yogas are there. Uh, there are roughly around 84 types of uh, yoga postures in under Hatha Yoga. And, but this is solely and solely linked with the body and the vital air forces, which is the, the prana shakti. There are five vital air forces, five pranas and five upranas. So it is completely linked to that basis. Hat yoga is linked to the body only. What is Raj yoga? Raj yoga goes a little bit further ahead from there. It is mostly its basis is the mind. And that's why various times we have heard, you know, a monkey mind. Or, or monkey movement of a mind. It, it doesn't remain at one place at one moment. Every moment it flickers around from one to another and that's the nature of a monkey. So when our basis of any yoga or any uh, practice or anything is the mind, 
then it will be considered as raj yog but further going beyond when we become a person or a, or an entity with a basis of a soul the conscious element that means all of our movement all of our activities and everything has a basis as a soul then we say it is the vihangam yog so the differentiation here is the basis wise if we are attached to our body it is hatha yog if you are attached to our mind it is raj yog if you are attached or our basis is the soul it's vihangam yog so what vihangam yog teaches is how one can move from body to mind towards the soul that's the major difference it's a difference of the basis which basis we are at right now we are like practicing vihangam meditation the first stage of vihangam meditation if somebody is practicing second somebody is practicing third all these three are linked to mind itself but the basis is not mind the basis is something else but we are trying to capture we are trying to control the mind but the real vihangam yoga actually starts from the fourth stage at which level our basis is actually the soul it is not on it is the meditation or the practice or anything is not done at the level of body it is not done at the level of mind all those things have been achieved all those things have been controlled already and now the basis is the conscious element the soul all other types of yoga whichever name we pick up we can categorize all those on the basis of which basis we are talking for say for example somebody says say uh, laya yog laya yog means or mantra yog or laya yog where you do bhajan and and uh, devotional prayer and all those things right so prayer has a different basis some people do prayer using some instruments and then using their voice and they are very much engrossed into it what is the basis think about it are we doing just this on the basis of our body and the sense organs and and the the voice or our mind is also doing the same thing or have we reached to the level of soul and our soul is actually doing that devotional song which which one we are talking about where we are on that basis that bhakti yog or even the laya yog or the mantra yog will be defined categorized out of these three where it falls whether we are attached to the body or the mind or the soul so these are the only three basis for anything we perform either through body body means includes this voice as well and then the mind and intellect and the third one is the soul whatever we do whichever we do if it is based on the soul we are actually doing vihangam yog if it is not we can very easily identify whether it is hatha yoga related or it is the raj yoga related vihangam yog may appear for many people as a new terminology but actually the process the principles of vihangam yog is not new this is the this is the concept this is the method which has been mentioned in vedas with the name paravidya similarly in other scriptures of all the world, in the whole world whichever scripture we talk about wherever we are talking about amalgamation wherever we are talking about uniting ourselves it's nothing but the same process vihangam yog and the ultimate objective for us is to unite ourselves our soul with the supreme soul which can be possible through vihangam yog practice only thank you very much for listening today